Look at the ducks. All the baby ones as well. Just did a little wheelie off there then. Only a little one. Uh, Roadkill. So yo guys, I'm Foster Rides. Welcome along today. If you're new to the channel, then welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, it's nice to have you along for the ride. So today we're just out and about. I finished work early. It's a bank holiday Monday. And I did go into work for a few hours, but I was bored shitless. So I thought, fuck it. I'm going for a ride. I thought the weather's not that bad, but I haven't been out on the bike for a good couple of weeks, or it feels like a couple of weeks anyway. But yeah, I've got some good news today, and I've got some bad news. <laughs> yeah, so I suppose we'll start off with the bad news. Oh well, let's get past this dude. Oh, fucking hell, it's got some pull on it. <laughs> So the bad news is, oh, let's just slow down first before I give you the bloody bad news. Well, it's not bad news as such. Here we go, we're in Langsing now. We are going to take a right up here. Yeah, so basically, I fucked all my rib cage up. I bruised a rib or something. It fucking kills, honestly. Well, actually, today's the first day that the pain has actually just started to ease. But yeah, you're not gonna believe how I friggin' did it as well. So I was on my way to work last Friday, and uh, I went down to the petrol station, got a cup of coffee and a packet of Obnob biscuits. And I put that, the hobnob biscuits on my phone, on the side, on, on my passenger seat. And then, I came off this roundabout, onto a, a straight bit, where some traffic lights up ahead. And there were no cars in front of me. Hello. There were no cars in front of me, and uh, there were one at the side of me, a pickup. And there were empty lanes, and the guy in the pickup decided, oh, that's it, I'm pulling across, I want to be at second lane. So he just swerved straight in front of it. I'm at the side of him, you know. So I slammed the anchors on, and the mobile phone and the packet of Obnob biscuits goes flying into the footwell. Boosh! So I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, those are all going to be wrecked now. So anyway, I get down to the next set of traffic lights, and I thought, right, I'm going to pick these up. So I get down to the traffic lights and I'm reaching over and they're in the far corner of the bloody footwell, the biscuits. I get the phone. Anyway, I needed about another 10 mil just to get an edge on it, just to pull it anyway. So I, I stretched over even more, smashed up against it, up against this bloody centre console with my rib. Honestly, I've never felt a pain like it in my fucking life. Um, honestly, since then, it have been no but pissing agony. Even just standing up and stuff like that and sitting down. Oh, yeah, and I can still feel it now. You know, like when you lift your arm up and stuff like that. Oh, it fucking feels tender. But, yeah, that, that fucking wrecked. That really fucking wrecked. So, time for the good news, I suppose. And then we're just going to go for a run out. And I'm just going to have a moan about shit and stuff like that. But we're in Derbyshire today. I'm going up the Strines, up Mortimer Road. And we're just going to have a blast up there. It's going to be busy because it's bank holiday Monday. So I'm not going to be going too mad. Um, yeah, so what's the other news? Alright, so I was watching Sam Vincent's video last night. And... Uh, some do that a bit, lift it up a bit. And he, he went for a test ride on the BMW S1... Oh, no, the M1000R. So that's the super naked or a hyper naked. But it's the M1000. So it's got the full-blown engine, 210 brake horsepower. Absolute weapon. 
which is really bloody cool because that engine is amazing as you know I had it in the XR and uh, I, I just thought that bike were absolutely amazing in fact I'd go to say that it is probably in my opinion the very best sports touring bike there is because it's sit up and beg it's comfortable but it handles like a bloody sports bike yeah, so we took this bike for a test ride that were absolutely awesome. And he's obviously loving it, you know, which you would do on one of them things. 210 brake horsepower. Fucking hell. That's like a... Uh... Oh, look at the ducks. Oh, the baby ones as well. The goose, geese, I don't know. Cool. Yeah, so anyway... Uh... I wrote a comment on it and just said, uh, imagine if they made an XR in the same sort of layup. And today, I had a, a, a reply from another guy, some Hunter, I think his name is. I'll put it up on screen anyway. Anyway, turns out they've only just announced this last week that next year they are making a, a BMW M1000XR. Can you fucking believe that? That will be an absolute missile. It'll be like the ultimate in uh, touring. Sports touring, in my opinion, it'll it'll kick the ass of all else. So they're making this uh they're making this M1000 uh, XR and they're gonna bring it out next year. And that will be cool as fuck. Simple as that, cool as fuck. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put either some pictures of it or some footage in here to show you because oh, it just looks amazing. Just did a little wheelie off there then, only a little one. Gotta be careful, because I'm on my own. You're on the wrong side of the road, you melt. And you were probably just pulling in, weren't you? Probably just trying to get a good good view of the corner. And there's me calling him bloody names. Yeah, this road's mint, I love it. You know, there's a lot of corners on it. A lot of bloody corners. Some hairpins as well. Like, this one's pretty crap at the bottom of here. In fact, I think this is where Bunny King Hogs uh, launched her bike. Just there. She didn't go wide enough. Then she stalled it. Dumped it. You gotta remember around here that all the corners are pretty tight. So you've got to uh, you've got to just keep wide a little bit. Cause look when the cars come around, see how I hesitated then. Oh, I've also fitted some uh, little spaces for in the accelerator. Which seems to have made a bit of a difference, actually. Look much more feel in the uh, throttle now. I'm past them because this hill up here is mint. Just have to be careful round here though, because it gets very narrow on this bridge.
<laughs> Two little wheelies there. Little ones. do is go down to the petrol station at um, Bamford go and have a mooch around there maybe oh, lots of bikers out today in that yeah nice and wide on the corners So I think where you take the picture is further up the road. I think we go up that way. So we'll go straight across here as if we're going up to Snakes Pass. That's the only thing with Derbyshire, comparing it to Yorkshire. If you go up North Yorkshire, you wouldn't see half of these cars. But because it's bloody... Derbyshire, there's just fucking cars everywhere. Let's go up here and take the picture that everybody takes. <laughs> here he comes, he's up my ass now. I'll pull him for him. this road, don't I? Fucking hell, see how fucking lent over it was then? Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck, he's gone. <laughs> I know what John would be fucking saying now from q -tubes. Go on, get after him, go on! <laughs> Look at that for a view. Beautiful. Little dog, little dog, little dog. Look at that. Ah, yeah, 
course, that's it. Now, I think what we'll do is we'll go. If you go that way, it just goes back into Castleton. But I think if we go around, it goes it goes out somewhere different. I can't remember. rip this bike <laughs> the wheel came up then a touch and even I mean and anti-slip number three usually it won't come up at all until like you get that down to one it's just got so much bloody grunt it's unreal Stanich Edge. Beauty. Peaky grinders, I might stop there and go get a coffee. Should turn around and go get a brewski. That's what we'll do. Castleton over that way because there's the cement factory and then when it's past I can just see up through the hill Sound nice. 